Miles, sister, Edward will be blessed with our friend. And being assembled together with them, 
commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which say he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but he shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I just want to read a word of prayer. And it's word. Lord, thank you for this word. Lord, thank you for the promise of the Holy Spirit. Lord, as I come before your presence, Lord, not because of any good thing that I've done, God, but because of your grace and your mercies that has kept me, God. And Father, as I give myself to you one more time, Lord, Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will anoint me, God, that one more time you will use me according to your will, Lord God. Father, I pray your word will go forth and accomplish that which it pleases. Father, I pray, God, that someone will be blessed by your word. Those that are here and those that are far, those that are in the reach of my voice, Lord. I pray, God, that after today, God, that this word will be a blessing unto them. And that, God, your will will be done in their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. My talk to you to this morning, my brothers and sisters. Power for service. Amen. Power for service. Yes. You know, I don't know, every time I get a word from the Lord, there's always a story. <laughs> yeah. And, Jesus, you know, <laughs> you know, once I heard someone testify of an experience that he had about going to heaven, the Lord brought him to heaven and he had an experience there. And he said that every time the angels, from thousands of years, they would go around the throne of God and say, Holy, holy, this is the Lord God. And he said, What in the angels are the most tired? He said, Go around the world and he said, Holy, holy. So. But when he realized when he was in heaven, each time they go around the throne, they see a different side of God that they have never seen before. Oh, yeah. So you see, our oh, God is far wider than what we can imagine. And you know, the reason why I say that is because every time he speaks a word in my heart, he surprises me the way he confirms it. You know, sometimes, I don't know about you, sometimes when he speaks, the human side of us will say, I'm never God. You know, you, you try to question this. But, and I guess all of you understand what I'm talking about. Amen. But this morning when I came in and I start to pray. <laughs> and I hear the teacher start saying, and the prophet Joel. <laughs> I smile. It's a confirmation. I said, God, let me tell you something. I did not get the chance to look at the Sunday school list. I didn't know where, which way it was going to be. But God placed this word in me. I was lying down about in the midday of the week and I heard power for service. Why? The Holy Spirit is like Sister Hamill sitting there and when I walk out, she started to talk to me and said, How are you doing? Do you know this time? He talks to us like yes. that. Yes. And he just started to put some things in my thought, and I said, power for service. Yes. And let me tell you, when he, when he speaks to you, there are times you have to go and research some more about the world. Yes. And then, when in 
your research, you will find that you start to pour out up to you some things that you might never know before. You have to jack them down. You have to jack them down, as you say. You know, you have to. But this morning, I want to share that word with you as you hear it on my heart. Power for service. Without the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, our service can only be accomplished with the energy and the wisdom of our flesh. And it is therefore fruitless and useless. The power of the Holy Spirit resting upon the servant of God. Are anybody ready to give service to God? The power of the Holy Spirit makes a difference. Yes. And this morning, I, can't, I know that you have learned something from this teacher this morning in the Sunday school. Amen. He was talking about the power of the Holy Ghost, receiving the power of the Holy yes. Ghost. Last week's message was about the presence, acknowledging the presence of the Holy Spirit. And today, the Holy Spirit is saying, look, I have power. Power that you need and that I can give to you in service of me. Believers, we are all called to witness, to be witnesses of Jesus. All of us. To speak of his love and to spread the good news of salvation to all of us. This is our call. It's not only on the preacher or the prophet. It's all of us. Yes. And Jesus is saying, you have power yes. to go yes. and serve. Yes. We are going to look at five years, brothers and sisters, where the Holy Spirit empowers us in our service to God. There are many more, but I'm going to look at five this morning. First, the power to speak. The Holy Ghost gives us power to speak. Yes. Acts 2, verse 4, 4 and 14. Verse 4 said, And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues yes. as the Spirit gave them utterance. And verse 14 talks about, But Peter standing up with the eleven, lift up his voice. And said unto them, Ye men of Galilee are Judea. And all ye that dwell in Jerusalem be known unto you, hearken to my words. Let me tell you something. These Peter, the, the, uh, the disciples, they were coming out at a time when they were fearful. They had killed their, this Jesus, their leader. And even though Jesus was resurrected, and Jesus commanded them, said, Look, man, go. Wait in the upper room. They had a bit of fear. Yes. Because they know what they, these men would do to them if they continue to preach this gospel. Mm -hmm. They fear. Sure. But when the Holy Ghost came upon them, the Bible tells me that it came like a mighty rushing wind. Yes. Yes. And it fell upon all of them. Hallelujah. And when the Holy Ghost came upon them, it gives Peter the power to speak. Power. To speak, the heart directed to speak. Yes. He was not nervous. He went to the men out there and said, man, how oh, can we hear these men, these men? They were they're there for the, yes. the festival. Men from other countries all over. Yes. And they said, look, man, these men are speaking in our own tongue. Yes. How could this be? How could this be? And they are born different. different. They are not born in our tongue. Yes. Yes. They said, how this be? Some of them start to draw a conclusion. A drunk then drunk. Yes. Drunk then drunk because they didn't even understand what they were saying. But those men that from those countries knew what they were saying because yes. they were glorifying Jesus yes. in their language. Yes. But Peter stood up. The power of the Holy Spirit gave him to speak and said, Look, man, I'm, we are not drunk no. as you may suppose. But we, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. Amen. Years ago. Years ago, he said, and it shall come to pass in the last days, say God, I will pour out of my spirit. 
upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Young men shall see visions. The whole men shall dream dreams. And my servants and my handmaids, I will pour out, out on those days of my spirit. Peter had boldness, the power to speak. He did not fear this time. We all have the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. 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 He anoints us. We receive him. And he says, look, go, you have the power to speak. Yes. Speak what the Lord will have you to say. Yes. Do not worry about what you say when you go. And in that power, the Lord will speak to you. He will give you the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Power for service. Yes. Power for service. Yes. You know, brothers and sisters, I... When I look back in my life, I remember coming up as a child. I never, I never thought I would be able to stand before anybody like that. No, never. I was so shy. Very shy. Shy, bad, bad. When my, my, my peers would, or, or my siblings or son, who I grew up with would, ready to go anyway, send them to the shop, then ready to run around me. me people to see me. So shy. Yes. I did not know that I would be able to stand before people and speak. What? This is only possible because of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Even times when I come up here sometimes I can feel that little. But guess what? When I stand before yes. the presence of the Lord, the Holy Spirit empowers me. Yes. And I speak as you have me to speak. Yes. Power for service I'm talking about. Yes. Without this power, brothers and sisters, we will work in our own wisdom and our own strength. And we will be fruitless and useless. Secondly, not only power to speak, but power to speak fearlessly. Without fear, Acts 4, 8 to 13. When you look at it, brothers and sisters, Verse 8. Then Peter lift up, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers and the people, and the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to this impotent man. And you might ask, by what means is this man made whole? Peter wasn't didn't worry about saying that it is Jesus. <laughs> Remember, this is the same Peter that they had Jesus. Yes. He was bold. He was fearless. Yes. He had no fear. He didn't care whether he wanted to kill me or not. Yes. But he said, Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Truth from false. 
The Holy Ghost gives us power to discern the truth from false, from the false thing. When you look at Acts 5, verse 3, when it talks about Ananias and Sapphira, but Peter said, Ananias, why had Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back a part of the, the land? The price of the land. Without the Holy Ghost, Peter could not know. No. no. He could not know. No. But the Holy Ghost revealed it to him. Amen. Look how powerful that is. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you are in your own say. And the Holy Ghost show you what is happening yes. in another yes. place. It's not ourselves. No. But it is Christ that is working in us. Yes. He gives us powers to discern what is true from what is false. What is not of God and what is of God. Yes. Because we're going to go up there, brothers and sisters, and we're going to come up among things that is not of God. Yes. Yes. And without that power, we cannot discern the truth from what is false. Yes. And right now, they will come in the church in the midst of the city before you, and they will come up and they will speak. But only a form of godliness. Yeah. But without the Holy Spirit, you cannot discern it. Hallelujah. But when you look at it, Ananias and Sapphira didn't do the wrong thing that they did. It was not much about giving the money. No. Telling the it's telling the lie. Yeah. Yeah. Because Peter said to them, Why did you mean it, was, it is it was not it? thy own? For it is for it was sold. It is not thine own power. It was in was it in not that own power to, to do choose what you want to do. That's what he was saying. It was in your own power. If you wanted to give me a portion, no problem. But don't tell a lie that this is all. The Holy Spirit give us power. Power to discern what is true from what is false, brothers and sisters. Power to obey God regardless yes. of the consequences. Amen. Amen. Regardless of the consequences. Yes. When you look at Acts 5 and we look at verse 20 to 21 and 29. Brothers and sisters, verse 20. Go stand and speak in the temple. The angel of the Lord was saying to Peter, the disciples at this time, these men captured them because they were preaching the gospel. And when they captured them, they placed them in prison. But an angel came and took and pulled them, took them out of prison. When he took them out of prison, brothers and sisters, he said, go in the temple. Go and preach the word. Go and preach the word. But when the Pharisees heard about it, the Sadducees, they heard about it that they, they were in the temple preaching. They said, what could that be? We imprisoned them. <laughs> and they went and looked. They saw that the prison cells were empty. It was empty. And they came back and went to the temple and they started to talk to, to the disciples and said, look man, why are you out here preaching? I said, you must have come, don't, don't come in the temple and preach about Jesus. We don't want to hear about that doctrine or that gospel. What? But Peter stood up, let me tell you something, man. The bonus, the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. He knew the consequences. Yes. Even if he was to be thrown in jail again. Yes. He knew the consequences. In verse 29, Peter, Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God rather than man. Amen. So if man wants to put me in prison, no problem. No problem. But if God said, go and preach, I'll go and preach. Yes. Amen. Yes. No matter what the consequences, it's better to obey God than man. Yes. Power to obey God regardless of the consequences. Hallelujah. In ourselves, brothers and sisters, we say, we know I'm not prison. <laughs> but because of the power of the Holy Ghost, we will stand. That is power for service. We all have it, brothers and sisters. We all have been baptized with the Holy Ghost. And this is power for service. Power to perform miracles. Acts 
6 verse 8. And he said, Pete, he said, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Great wonders and miracles among the people, full of faith and power, because of the power of the Holy Ghost that he had received on Pentecost. He was able to go forth in the name of Jesus as the Lord loved him and speak to the blind. The Bible tells us that when these men came, they, they bring all kinds of people, folks that were sick, folks that were vexed with spirit, bad spirit in them, unclean spirit, and they were all healed. All healed. That's the power that we have in the Holy Ghost. Power that we have to go forth and work for the Lord. The Lord wants us to go, my brothers and sisters. Knowing the power that we have. When we acknowledge that His presence is here, we know that we have that power to go forth. To speak. The gospel is far bigger than He gives life, my brothers and sisters. The Lord has called us for a purpose. To preach, to, to teach, to witness. To spread the word. Many of us, some of us are teachers. Hallelujah. Teach according as God allows us to teach. Hallelujah. Some of us to exalt. Yes. Some, some of us to minister to the sick. Some to minister to the needy. Whatever it is. Amen. He has given us the power to go forth and do it. Go forth. And do it in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know my brothers and sisters, sometimes... When I, look, when I look at the encounter that I have with the Lord, you know, I pray many times and say, God, we all need to have an encounter. Yes. Because without that encounter, you don't have that drive. Mm -hmm. You don't have that willpower to go on. Mm -hmm. I remember the Lord visited me some years ago in a vision. And he showed me, he said, look, look. In the mountain, and it was like the sea, the, the, the sun was going down. Night was drawing near. And you see that dark cloud and that shining look of the sun behind the cloud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he was showing me that, he said, Look. And I heard the voice say, Preach the gospel. Yes. I'm coming back again. Yes. We don't encounter, brothers and sisters. You know that the Lord is with you. Yes. Whether you want to hear or whether you want to forbear. But I will preach the gospel. I will preach the good news. When you want to hear what the word of the Lord has to say, I don't care. I'm going to do my part. I'm going to preach. God said the Lord and I will. You all need to have an encounter with the Lord. He gives us that drive to go on. Understanding the power that we have within. God is calling us, brothers and sisters. Look, His coming is nearer than we think. It is nearer than we think. He said, The harvest is ripe, but the labors are few. Who will go and work for me today? Hallelujah. Amen. 
Service unto the Lord. He's coming back again. People need to know that. Whether they believe it or not, go and tell them. The workings of the Holy Ghost will take care of the rest. Tell them. Yes. Jesus is coming back again. Yes. Tell it to the world. Yes. Tell them. Yes. Tell them. Yes. To preach the gospel. Yes. I'm coming back again. Yes. Preach the gospel. Yes. I'm coming back again.
Jesus. And speak by the Lord. We thank you for your presence, Lord.